Oh, uh, but it has to be like an, an exasperated voice that sounds like I've been screaming all day. Hydrant! Hydrant! Give me some muscle! Actually, so speaking of football stories, um, so my, my first name is Zach and my last name is Zane, uh, which if you combine them together, it's Zane. Uh, and all my coaches would call me Zane just because they would see my name and just kind of like splurge them together because they're 40 year old men who don't know what they're doing with their lives. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, one of the dudes, I think his name was like Coach Gowan, he like yelled at me to like run faster or whatever or like do something in the middle of an exercise. And I was like, Sir, it's Zane with an S. My, my name is Zach. You're it, like, I, I'm not Zane. And he just yelled at me and then made me run for the entire day. He's like, God damn it, Zane, no back talking. So then it, I was then it, I was Zane after that. You should that. have fucking hustled. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I tried, Hurry up. yeah, I uh, I was forever Zane for like three years in football. So you know why Luigi wins this matchup? Um, he doesn't. Okay, so he does, and here's why. So the most powerful force in Project M is called Spinergy, and he has his down B to charge it up. <laughs> That's why Sonic's the best character. Oh uh, no, Meta Knight's the best character because Neutral Air. Meta Knight is the best character. Sonic is the best character though because yeah. he has the most. If spin. you have spinning Neutral Airs, you're good. Like Wolf, Sonic, uh, Meta Knight. Uh, uh, Luigi's backwards Kirk jump. Kirby. Kirby does, but Luigi jumping backwards is also a very fast spin. He just rotates a million miles a second, I don't yeah, know why. Him him and Mario both just become a ball. Yeah, they just fucking wolf there without a hitbox. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I think it's really funny. I don't I, laugh I think, anymore. I think, I think almost every single back jump animation looks better than forward jumps in Smash, actually. Yeah, it does. They, a lot, a lot they of them look flips. more like elegant. Yeah, they, they look more stylistic. I like the backwards jump with Sheik, because she converts her body and it's easier to not get hit. Oh yeah, there, yeah. some some characters actually just have like hitbox contortion or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like natural dodge. Mm -hmm. It's actually like my biggest issue with Fighting Peach is I, I dislike how like scrawny her body gets whenever she's like floating and doing yeah, she's aerials. Floating. She just like curls up into a ball. Yeah, the bottom of her dress is uh, Invincible, not basically. hittable. Yeah. yeah, and she like, it's just like she like pulls her legs in is the thing. So she's like basically like the size of Pikachu. Or smaller. And then also has invincible arms on there? I think? No, she does not. She doesn't uh, have invincibility on any of her aerials. Okay, maybe I'm... Okay. You're just PTSDing DK, I think. I think I might just be PTSDing old PM DK. Oh, he got need at a neutral. DK had some fun arms. <laughs> God, please end me. Can you imagine thunders with three patches of DK? How he would just nair at everyone. Thunders and Sethon actually played in 3.5, and nobody knows that. Uh, they went to, like, game 15 at some, like, NorCal tournament. I well, remember that, actually. Yeah, Sethon tweeted, and he was basically like, fuck DK, this, this is dumb, uh, in 3.5. Low-key, like, Thunders almost beat Sethon? Nobody actually really knows about that. I remember that I mean, tournament. I mean, he the tournament Lucky won, I think. No, Sethon won that tournament. I think uh, I think it was a different tournament. Okay, I remember he yeah. went to NorCal for well, something. Sethon couldn't have gone to game 15 against him. If, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I forgot. I yeah. forgot how numbers work. Yeah, numbers are dumb. Hey, numbers. Did you see that Nia shield? Yeah. Uh, no, he's lacking. Oh, there's Spinergy. Okay, going to this next stock, he is powerful. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. But remember, the only metric that really matters uh, to determine who wins is the amount of hustle inputted. I don't know who's going to win, but I do know whoever it is will have hustle. Get him, Hendren! Let him know! Oh my god, oh, I, I feel up coming. There was some weak nares and like a, like a downer set into the ground. That was a young blood moment right there. Young Down blood! B. Oh, she's muscle! Young blood, get your ass in the game! Hustle, hustle! Take five, bro. Oh my god. Did he actually just nair his down B approach? Yes. That was a very Luigi versus Falcon moment. <laughs> That was a young blood moment. That was a young blood versus Luigi moment. I know Studebaker doesn't like the way Luigi feels in this game, uh, but I think he hates Ivysaur Falcon way more than he hates Luigi's like feel. Because Ivysaur Falcon is not a good matchup. No, it's not. It's like six four or sixty five thirty five. Yeah, uh, Studebaker thinks that it's her worst. I'm pretty sure. I think it's like either six four or sixty five thirty five. It's definitely. I feel like Falco might be slightly better. I don't know. I think Ivysaur is a stupid plan. I mean, I think the biggest issue with Ivysaur Falco is that Ivysaur can't back air Falco because she gets lasered and then she gets turned around and then she yeah she can't have her back back facing towards Falco so she can't like razor leaf and then approach with back air because she just gets lasered and then it's really obnoxious. Here's not obnoxious, Douglas. 
Tug's, it, Tug's he's too obnoxious. fast to be obnoxious. No, that's the whole point. He outspeeds it? obnoxiousness. <laughs> he outspeeds adjectives. He's so <laughs> fast, he outspeeds the English language. Yes. You Finally, someone gets it. That was three nares. So, Sonny and I were talking earlier, and uh, he lost to a Ganondorf in Friendlies, and uh, I, I talked to him about how, uh, just like Charizard, I think we're actually going to ban Ganon for 2018. Um, That's a good uh, idea. Yeah, uh, for the PM circuit. So, uh, the Electoral College vote this year uh, was actually slight in favor of Ganon. Uh, Republicans always vote Ganon. Um, okay. Yeah, the uh, people didn't go to the polls this year, so we didn't have enough Democrats. But uh, next year, I think, I think we'll finally either get Ganon banned, or... He'll be legal, but you're not allowed to disrespect with him. Oh, no uh, no, no B moves? Yeah. You, Actually, no. You can only use B moves. Yeah, Approved moves only. Yeah. Only B moves. Uh, if you use any A move ever. Smash stacks and B moves only. <laughs> yeah. If you use... You can only play very respectfully with Ganon. Um, otherwise, you have to forfeit the you're game. You're only allowed to use buttons slash sticks that are hot colors. So the C stick and the B button. <laughs> <laughs> does Ganondorf have Scoville units? Oh, he does on his up B and up tilt. Yeah, he does, of course. Just... Don't ask questions that are stupid! His up B has lots of Scoville units. His up tilt has a lot okay, of Okay, okay. Sonny told me that he doesn't think Republicans would vote Ganon. I feel like they would, because Ganon's like an old man, and like Republicans are like old dudes. They can relate, yeah. I would, yeah. I would think they were, would go vote for Ganondorf. Yeah. Also, they remember Ganon from uh, Ocarina of Time, because uh, that's super old. Democrats would definitely vote to keep Luigi in the game. <laughs> Ooh, oh, big dash chance grab. That was hype. Didn't do anything, but it was hype because yeah. Doug ran fast. Does Doug actually true combo uh, off down throw against Luigi, or is it 50 50 no, between it's, there? It's, so the thing you can, oh my you God, can young do blood, young blood. is I think up throw is actually better because down throw is never like, a true true link. I think at like zero it is. Um, yeah. But, or maybe a little higher, but like off of up there, you can just put out up air and it just beats everything. Yeah, uh, I I actually think Falcon's up throw is basically like just objectively better than down throw in almost every matchup. Um, in most matchups, yeah, it like, is. I feel like 80% of Falcon matchups, you actually just want to up throw. Uh, I yeah, think there are matchups yeah. where... Like, like puff down throw knee and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, down throw knee. Yeah. There are matchups where like... I guess you Peach have, as well. Um, well, down throw knee isn't technically a thing, but it it is basically enough of a thing for it to... On Peach? Yeah. Because, like... Bad double jump? You can down... You can... Hold down and away and air dodge out always. But that's, like, the only escape route. And Wizzro just... It just becomes a 50-50. It becomes a 50-50, but with Wizzro, it's a... He kills you anyway because he'll knee. And he does it so fast that after you air dodge, he just follows you and knees you again. I love Wizzro. Every once in a while, Wizzro does the, the infinite hack stash stuff, and I start popping off. Did you hear that? It's Luigi fun. got hurt. He it's hurt. fun when it doesn't happen to you. <laughs> I, it was fun when it was happening to me. It wasn't. It, I imagine it was bewildering. It was. It wasn't like laughing out loud funny. It was like, oh no, is this the end? Wizard was having a blast. Yeah. This game is considerably different than game one. Studio Maker is, Hawk yeah. had a uh, stock lead for, uh, I think, most of game one. Or at least he was like on the same stock, but always up in percent. Yeah, he definitely was. Yeah. Well, big backer to s slip him off. Oh, I like the jump to call it the jump from the, from the edge. I feel like you could just punish Captain Falcon's landing lag with upbeat, and then you'd be really cool. He could. He could have done a lot of different things. He could have down air. Oh, my God. We got a last stock situation, and he has charged up his spinergy. Did he actually do down B on stage? He did down B on stage. Uh, melee muscle memory. Mm -hmm. uh, that was awful DI on me. That was awful DI on down throw and awful DI on me. He definitely um, did the whole He might actually have muscle memory from Smash 2, because Smash 2 Luigi still has to charge it because it's like melee. It might Where do you be think a, we're going? Um, Not some, found in dreams. Somewhere on the front page. If they go to the second page, I will eat my shoe. That would be hype. Or this chair. Which one? Both at the same time? Both at the same time. Okay. Well, you gotta swallow and pull. Mm. He's gonna go... He should go Green Hill. Really? I think he should go Green Hill. He's going Smashville. Long, I don't like Green Hill. flat stage for Doug. I don't like this. I don't know. Flat stages are good. Uh, really? Because... So, like, Luigi's, like... People will tell you, and I disagree with them, that, like, people <laughs> are, like... <laughs> Luigi's bad on FD, and I don't think that's true at all. I think um, it depends on the matchup. It depends on the matchup. And this don't matchup, play against Marth. Yeah, that one's that one's bad. <laughs> but this don't one I think bad. it's it's fine. 
Um, because Doug is way better at moving around on platforms because he's got better jumps. Luigi has like the X Y K bullshit and stuff like that. I'm talking about with the with the, the wave drops platform yeah. shit, but Doug is just better at moving on platforms. Um, and I like Green Hill because it's small. And the thing about small stages against Doug is that like he can't dash with, dance. He can't, can't dash dance as much, and also you're more likely to run into Luigi's hitboxes. He doesn't have as much room to run from your memes. So, like, your big hitboxes take up more space. I, I understand that most people, like, dislike the fact that Dallas uses the word memes too much, but I honestly have a very hard time describing Luigi without using the word memes. It's I think impossible. He's, I think he's one of the few characters where it's like he actually just does so much <laughs> quirky. Look at him. <laughs> he does so much dumb, quirky shit that you could actually be like, he's fucking memeing. Like, he's definitely memeing. Also, people need to freaking relax. Memes are hype. Okay, that was a big scoop with the forwarder. He gave him the Jimble smack hand. Every once in a while, I think about Smash 4 Luigi having melee fa uh, forward air, and I cry a little bit on the inside. At least it wouldn't combo anymore. I mean, it'd probably still combo at low percent. Yeah, you're right. I forgot Smash 4 is stupid. But then, like, Lu Luigi with Rage at 80 would just down throw forward air you. You know, I think I'm going to be a Ryu Lucario dual main in Smash 4. Oh. I don't want anyone to like me. You want to main the same character twice? Yeah, but I want people to not like me even more. Uh, Maybe I should add no, Rosalina. I was, I was gonna say Bay Bayonetta is probably the one you want to pick. Bayonetta and Rosa. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it get it would be funnier to to percent. I, okay, people okay. Than, I, I think it depends on. Oh, he do. He, uh, well, up you wouldn't kill. I think um, it's really funny when someone dies to up their upper at thirty percent from Lucario. Well, it's like fifty or sixty depending on character. Either way, it's really <laughs> funny. Um. I've uh, okay, okay, so I think it depends on what, what crowd you're trying to, to piss off. I think viewers hate Bayonetta more, but people having to play against Lucario Okay, Ryu, so uh, my stream character will be Bayonetta. <laughs> my off Because I was going to say, Ryu. losing off, off stream to, to cheese Lucario might be a little bit more my frustrating My off stream character Bayon. will be my Lucario that I only camp with. Oh, no, Sonic on stream. You got you to gotta, you gotta lose game one as Bayonetta and then time them out with Sonic. That's a good idea. Actually, or Sunny... You know, Sonny's gonna enter Shockwave soon as a Sonic man. I'm actually going tomorrow if, if Sonny wants to enter. Okay, then I'll, I'll tell him to go. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have to go because uh, my high school is uh, actually like, they have some competition where they play Smash 4 against other high schools, and they're going to Shockwave like at 5 before the tournament starts and like practicing, quote unquote. And I joined the club and they don't know who I am, so I'm just gonna go to Shockwave and, and basically teach like little kids how to play. Hype. Yeah, um, what? so Sonny. Oh, so, dude, I'm a god. I, so Sunny no, no, no knows how to uh, run up shield, uh, run to the other side of the stage, run up, roll back, and spin dash. Should we teach him how to spin shot, or is that too advanced? No, the, no. Well, his only goal is to time people out. No, spin shotting is, is you, you know what that is, right? Yeah, it's where no. you down B and then fly across the stage. It's good for timing people out. Yeah, no, but we'll, we'll work on that one, later. One, one, yeah, one step at a time. Yeah, which, which, which Sonic does he play? Uh, he plays, I think he plays, like, the silver one. I can't remember, though. Okay. But the point is, is... Uh, He's. It doesn't matter if he wins or loses, as long as the, if, as long as it goes to time, he's going to pop off. <laughs> we also watched uh, clips from the Sonic animated TV show, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, with the really corny memes. So we got quotes from the first episode that I'm gonna oh, yell while he plays. Oh my God, he got the wrong down. Um, like that, they're both a kill percent. Live fast, think okay. fast, act fast is a good one. Um, where I'm gonna yell about chili dogs because Sonic really likes those in that show for some reason. Um, uh, Time to speed, Keed. Gotta roll, Troll. Um, whenever he's uh, recovering and drifting back to the stage, I'm gonna yell in the background.